Hey everyone, Katie Louise here. Hope you're having a magical day. I'm here with my haul from the Broadway flea market and I didn't buy too, too much. I was good. So I'm going to tack on the two things I was allowed to buy at Miss Saigon. I'm going to order t-shirts online. So to start off, I got this and it has a price on it so I know how much it was. Five dollars. This is my mom's. It's still in the packaging. I used mine. This is a USB charger for Phantom of the Opera and you can see it's engraved, it's embossed uh, January 26th, 2016, 28th anniversary. And my box, because it's not on this one, because this is my mom's, on my box on the top it has a sticker, Happy 20, uh, 28th Anniversary from Camera Macintosh on the Really Useful Group. Uh, what we were told is they just sent over too many. I've used mine, it does work, so that's really cool. Next, I will show you, I have an autographed picture from one of my favorite Christines. I really want to get there to see her, Allie Ewalt. And I pretty much collect pictures of Christines in their wishing gowns. So they had this at the flea market signed by Allie. And um, I just signed love Allie Ewalt. And there's her in her wishing gown with the cape. Um, I They always take certain pictures of Christine. So I'm going to try to write her a letter and see if I get like the pose because I kind of collect those. Uh, next is something really cool, actually. It was a bundle pack. So first things first, I had got this. I gotta find a place for it. This is for the revival of Sunset Boulevard. That was just on Broadway. Uh, with Glenn Close, Michael Xavier, Shimon Dillon. Um, yeah, I mean, this is really cool. This is really cool artwork. Look at that. That is really cool. But then I also got... A pride playbill from this production and an autographed picture of Glenn Close. Uh, this picture normally says with uh, with thanks. Yes, with thanks, Glenn Close, and it this sense of Boulevard sticker on the back. I got this as a pack for 20 bucks. At the stand next to it, they were actually trying to just sell this on its own for 20 bucks. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, it's Glenn Close's autograph, but I got all this for 20. I feel like I was a good shopper. So I bought all that. And then I got this was five dollars. Look at I'm not a fan of Annalie Asher, but I am obsessed with Jake Gyllenhaal. So and I like this artwork. I love Sunday in the Park with George. I have a I did not get to see this revival and it breaks my heart and soul and every fiber of my being, but I got this for five dollars at the flea. So I can put this up on my wall because I just think the artwork's absolutely beautiful. And the last thing, last thing I purchased at the flea, don't exactly know what it is. This is a book for uh, Saoirse Ronan's production of The Crucible, but it's not just a book. So it has all the Tony nominations they got. It was Best Revival, Best Actress, Sophie Okendo, uh, Best Featured Actor, Bill Camp, Best Lighting Design. And then they have like the pictures. They're Sersha. They got the pictures and they've got uh, quotes from um, the New York Times and stuff. They have the, I think this is the actual, it's the full review from the New York Times. I don't know what this is. Like, they wore pictures and Washington Post. I have no idea what this is, but I found it at a table for the Actors Temple. Um, yeah, and there's, uh, Tabby, and Ta Tavi, Tavi's her name, not Tabby, I know someone else named Tabby, but that's Tavi, <laughs> the line, for my friend Christian, who's at drama school, I love God, I go with you no more now, that's like her exact line reading, we loved it, so we do it for fun, um, but yeah, it's like, I, I think, I call this the press bible, uh, in all honesty. I have no idea what it is. It's so thick. It has so many articles and reviews in it. I have no idea. I just saw Saoirse's face and the Crucible because this is the, the photo shoot they did. So I was like, I don't know what that... It's a book because it's spiral bound. So my mom pulled it out and thought it would be a script, but it has like all the reviews and the articles. I've been calling it the Press Bible. If you know what this is... Please let me know. I'd be very grateful. I don't know why the light just turned yellow when I like that. That's odd. Okay, but I don't know what this is. So, well, that is what I bought at the flea. But I have one more purchase. Oh, the back's just black. Okay. I went and saw Miss Saigon. 
it changed my life. I've been waiting over 20 years to see it, so I'm just like pulling everything out of the bag from the flea. So, uh, for the most part, I had every one signed. There was one thing for the flea I forgot. I'll show it in one of my other videos. It was signed by the girl who we actually saw the understudy for um, Ellen, which is Paige Fowler. We love her. Paige, my mom and I love you so much. Thank you for an amazing performance. And we had her sign it because, yes, this is this was her. So I had everyone sign my playbill um, for Miss Saigon. And uh, then I also have a poster. Um, and I will say um, thank you to my mom. This was her uh, birthday present to me. I have waited over 20 years to see this show, and it did not let down. It did not disappoint. I... Um, need to go back again. I am not emotionally okay, but God, I love this show. Okay, so I also bought the picture book, which has a picture of Eva on the back. We also met her at the flea. She was doing pictures for free at the table, which was super cool. Um, but yeah, this is the Broadway picture book of Miss Saigon, which is really cool. Um, there's Devin... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. He was super nice. He plays my favorite character, Tui. Ugh. And there's Katie Rose Clark, who we did not see. We saw Paige, and we love you, Paige. And then... <laughs> okay, the, 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 the insert just slid across the floor, but I love this. I want to get the UK one, too, so I have those pictures. But... And then I also got my last thing. The poster I'm gonna get this framed and I got it signed by the two people I wanted to have signed this I didn't want like when I was at uh, Amelie I had the cast sign my poster but then Pippa Sue did not come out so it was kind of like oh yeah so I was very picky about who I was gonna get to sign this and I was and I wanted Eva so Eva signed on her arm that's Eva Noblezada's autograph like get closer and that's John John Briona's Literally, that's all I wanted on this poster, Eva and John John. Sorry, Alistair. Alistair gets to just represent with his face. But I love Eva and John John. They are incredible. I, I'm, I'm such a fan of both of them. Um, and you guys know I have the 25th anniversary filmed version from London, and I adored Eva. Eva's younger than me, and I look up to her so much as a fellow performer. And then John John. He's magnificent, and I got to meet him, and he was the one I was most excited to meet. And in my experience, you don't meet the people in theater you are most excited to meet because they don't live up to your expectations. I just love John John so much, like genuinely love this guy. I was not disappointed when I met him. I love him, like he is my favorite. His engineer just ah oh, killed it, and I think. Part of my soul was ripped out of my body, like, just emotionally. Like, I, uh, I'm not okay. Eva's performance. I'm gonna say it. This girl should have won the Tony, not Bette Midler. This girl. And I think John John should have been nominated because he would have dominated and won. Um, so, Yeah. I am just ranting about my favorite show ever. Uh, as I said in one of my other videos, I used to listen to the original London soundtrack in this room, right where my bookcase was, was a stereo. My uncle uh, used to play like vinyls and CDs of shows for me, and he asked me what show um, and what I wanted to listen to, and I said the one with the sun on it. Um, yeah. He... Excuse me, he started my love of Miss Saigon, and I finally saw it. <laughs> oh, God, I love Saigon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be so devastated when it closes. Uh, but then maybe we'll get the 25th anniversary video, which is the best 25th anniversary production they filmed. Because Phantom, or oh, Elena is, it was basically the same thing as the 10th anniversary concert, which... I, the 10th anniversary is Colin Wilkinson. Come on, he's the original. Um, but then Phantom was like quasi stage, like semi stage. And then you get Saigon, which is actually the production. Um, yeah, I loved it. I need to go back. 
So that is my haul from the flea and my Miss Saigon mini haul. I need to order like a t-shirt so I can wear it like in Disney and just be like, this is my favorite show. This has been my, it was my favorite score since I was about two. And then now at, for my 26th birthday, I was still 25 though, uh, it was over a week before my birthday. For my 26th birthday though, I saw Miss Saigon. It was about 24 years in the making and I loved it. So that's it for me. You'll see me tomorrow for the Mickey monthly unboxing. Not Mickey monthly. No, no. I swear to God, I hit my head at Godspell rehearsals. So I bumped it off the floor when I did the fatted calf scene. So that was fun. I fell the wrong way. I hadn't done a stage fall in about three years and I, my head bounced off the floor. I'm fine. I just, you know, brain losses, but you'll see me for my Mickey's mystery box next month. Okay. I'm probably going to go listen to Saigon. Bye.